She was 17 when she was gang raped, when she saw her father lose his life fighting for justice, when she began living every single day of her life in fear. Why? Because she had spoken up and demanded action against her perpetrators, which included BJP's four-time Unnao MLA Kuldeep Singh Sengar. We are talking about the now rape survivor who is now fighting for her life in an ICU. Let's rewind to two years ago when she entered the BJP MLA's house hoping to get a job. The 17-year-old girl had alleged that on 4th June 2018, she was raped by BJP MLA Kuldeep Singh Sengar when she went to his home looking for a job. Merely seven days after the incident, the girl went missing. After her family lodged a complaint, she was traced in Uttar Pradesh's Oraya on 28th June. A rape case was filed and three new names came to light. Shubham Singh, his driver Naresh Tiwari and one British Yadav. The girl alleged that the police did not allow her to name the MLA in her statement. Almost a year later in April 2018, when the survivor's father came down to Unnao with his family for a hearing, he was brutally thrashed by Kuldeep Sengar's brother, Atul Sengar. Instead of booking the accused, police took the survivor's father into custody for two days. Fed up, the girl tried to kill herself outside the residence of Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath. On 9th April, while still in custody, the survivor's father died in the district hospital. Kuldeep Sengar's brother was then arrested along with three others, who also happened to be associates of MLA Sengar. Six policemen, including the police station officer of the area, inspector and four constables were suspended and a high-level probe committee was set up. After the case was transferred to the CBI, Kuldeep Sengar was taken into custody. However, he was arrested only after an order by the Allahabad High Court. Thirteen months after she was raped, the CBI issued a charge sheet naming Sengar as the prime accused. The CBI registered another FIR in which Kuldeep Sengar, his brother Atul Sengar and three police officers were accused of framing the survivor's father. The survivor's family kept alleging that they were being threatened by the MLA's goons. Meanwhile, on 18th August 2018, one of the witnesses of the case died and was buried without a post-mortem. And while the MLA was facing such serious charges, BJP MP Sakshi Maharaj, who won the 2019 Lok Sabha elections, visited him in the Sitapur jail and openly admitted that he did so because unka haal chal janne aaye the. Over 25 months after she was raped, the survivor on 28th July 2019 was travelling with her lawyer and her two aunts when a truck collided with their car in Raibareli. While her aunts succumbed to their injuries, the lawyer and the survivor herself are critically injured. The number plate of the truck that collided with the car had grease smeared on it. Not just that, even the security personnel deployed for the survivor's safety was mysteriously not present with her. Right from UP to the Parliament of India, the accident has given rise to a cry for justice for the survivor.